Hi, kids. Put your winky-dink magic screen in front of your TV screen and rub it hard with your magic cloth to make it hold fast. And then be ready to help us with your magic crayons in another exciting adventure of Winky Dink and you! Winky Dink and you, Winky Dink and me Always have a lot of fun together Winky Dink and you, Winky Dink and me We are pals in fair or stormy weather Say, Winky Dink, that makes the third glass of water your cousin Dorabel has taken outside. She must be mighty thirsty. Thirsty nonsense, Woofer. I'm doing a watercolor painting. That's real neat, Dorabel. Can we watch how you do it? You see, cousin Winky Dink, the colors in the foreground are nice and bright, but they get bluer in the background because they are seen through more layers of air. <laughs> The only layers of air I notice around here are of the hot variety. What happened? Woofer tripped and fell right into the stream in your painting. Oh, poor Woofer. He doesn't swim very well. Help me, somebody! I'm being swept away by the current! You stay here and keep watch for us, Dora Bell. I'm going in to save Woofer. Good luck, Winky Dink. Uh, I can't stay afloat much longer, Winky Dink. Do something quick. Oh, the current is so fast, I can't swim against it. Now that we're around the bend of the river, Dora Bell can't see us anymore. Only the kids in the audience can help. Quick, boys and girls, get out your magic crayon and trace that watering trough in the barnyard there. Hurry now. Draw the trough and, and fill it in, too. Oh, that's it. Got it? Oh, thanks, gang. This is a swell raft for Woofer and me to ride on. Hop aboard, Woofer. <coughs> now I see where all of Dora Bell's water went. Oh, it's nice to be riding high and dry in this raft, Woofer. But our troubles aren't over yet. How do we get off? That's not so tough, Winky Dink. We just catch hold of the next big tree branch that comes along and swing over to the ground. Oh, I hope we can do it. Say, here comes a big branch now. Ready? Let's go. We made it, boys and girls. You can erase the rat with your magic cloth now. Rub hard. Clean off your magic screen. Woofer and I are going to have to hike back to where we left Dora Bell. Oh, I haven't hiked so far since I was in Dog Scout camp. Oh, don't complain now, Woofer. We're almost to the top of this big mountain. We should be able to have a clear view from the top. Why does your cousin Dorabelle have to paint such tall mountains anyway? There she is, Woofer. There she is. Yeah, but she's so far away. How could she ever see us? Dorabelle! Dorabelle! Oh, dear. I do wish Cousin Winky Dink would come back. A while ago, I thought I heard him calling my name, but it must have been the wind in the trees. It's no good, Winky Dink. We're too far away. How can we get her to see us? Our only hope is that the kids in the audience can help. Boys and girls, get out your magic crayon and draw my hand. Draw all the fingers. The thumb, index finger pointing, and then the other three. Got them? Good. Maybe now Dora Bell will be able to see us. Oh, my gracious. There's the Winky Dink and Woofer on top of that big mountain. I'll just scoop them out with my camel's hair brush. Hang on, both of you. Oh, thanks a million for your help, kids. Erase your drawing with your magic cloth. Get it all off. That's it. Well, Woofer, what do you say now about Dora Bell's painting? Fantastic. I'm going to ask her to give me some lessons in realistic paintings myself. Painting landscapes, Woofer? No, Winky Dink. Painting bones. <laughs> Be with us on our next big Winky Dink adventure, gang. Yeah.